Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 31 of the Adobe Illustrator tutorial series. So today we're going to look at something called the perspective tool. So once I draw something on uh, here in the uh, in the canvas, you can see that this uh, is drawn flat out. So what I'm going to what I'm going to use now is the perspective tool right here. It's located over here. You can also press Shift P to bring this up, and you can press this, and you can see that there's a cube right there. So now, if you were to go to the perspective grid tool, uh, the grid is not actually here. So in order to see the uh, grid, just go to view and go to perspective grid and then go to uh, so grid right here. Let me just press control Z over here because um, let me just uh, hide the grid. I don't wanna see that grid over here. I wanna see the perspective grid. So uh, just say, I'm going to do a, a two point perspective to be normal view and you can see that the perspective grid is here. So you can have perspective grid. You can also uh, go to have one point view right here. So let me just go to view, go to perspective grid. Let's say I'm going to have one point view. So you have one point perspective as well. Go to view, you can go to perspective grid. Uh, let's say go for example, you can have three point view as well. So whatever type of perspective, it gives you an option over here. So you can also move the points of this perspective uh, to your liking over here for example you have these points so you just go to the perspective uh, tool right here and you can see that you have the points you can actually move this around to change the perspective that you want so this is like uh, actually like a baseline um, uh, actually um, uh, actually the uh, blueprint for the model that you're going to make so if you want to cre create um, your um, designs in this perspective then this will really help you so for now we are just going to use two point perspective so just go to perspective grid go to two point perspective go to two point and then i can change the grid right here so let me just uh, click and drag and you can see that i can change the amount of perspective over here and you can see at the end there's not much grid over here but if i were to zoom in i can start seeing uh, the grid right there. So let me just zoom this out a bit. All right, there you go. So if I were to drag this in a bit, you can see that the perspective grid actually increases over there. So now what I can do is I can go on to the rectangular tool. I can simply click and drag and can you can see that uh, it is drawn on the perspective grid, um, not really in the perspective grid. So I have to select one of the faces right here. So I'm gonna select this face right here and then draw just like this. And you can see that it is drawn on that perspective. Even if you draw here, yeah, it is drawn on the same perspective. So I suggest you to go to the side perspective, click and drag, and you can see that it is drawn on the side perspective. If you go to the bottom one and drag it, then you can see that it is drawn on the bottom perspective, just like this. So what if, what if you don't have the perspective? For example, I can actually close the perspective right here and it is drawn normally. So what I, if I want to keep this in the perspective, a view. So what I can simply do is I can enable the perspective and then I can go to the perspective selection tool. So I'm going to select the place where I want to place this object. So I'm just going to press bottom and click and drag and you can see that I can click and drag the object right here. So for example, I can also go to symbol for example and then let me just uh, close this down. Let's say I have a normal butter uh, butterfly over here so let me just click and drag the butterfly there you go i have a normal butterfly over there let me say i want to keep this on the left per perspective so what i do is i go to the uh perspective grid tool then go to perspective selection tool then i want to uh choose the side view right uh, side grid right here click and drag and you can see that i can place it side wide just like that so this is how you uh, add in the perspective view uh press um, add, add the objects in the perspective um plus spaces just like that so <clears throat> you can also change the grid as we discussed last time so you can just go to the perspective grid over here uh just go to perspective grid click and drag and you can see uh that i can actually change the perspective as well so i you, you i suggest you not doing this after you design it but in the beginning itself so you can create different objects by using the perspective grid. Let me just um, rearrange that out. So let me just go to perspective over here and then rearrange this out just like this. And now what I can do is now I can create some perspective designs. Let's say like a building. Let me just click and drag. There you go. There's a perspective building right here. Let me just go on to the side and drag another bit just like this. So I got a perspective building right there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create something like a black. Let's say let's start creating windows for the perspective building that we have. 
uh let me choose a darker color for this like a darker blue okay just like that to create a perspective feel over there and then i'm going to create a shape now so let me just go to shape let me just select another shape just like this click and drag all right and press ctrl z click and drag over here so i have a window right there so let me just choose black and click and drag there you go and uh what i can do is i can go to perspective selection tool now right so let's say go to perspective selection tool now and then drag this out so you can see that the perspective actually changes once i do that so if i want to copy and paste this i can press ctrl and b right there all right so ctrl and f actually because i want to place it on the same spot ctrl f drag it and there you go uh snooze right there all right so now what i can do is shift select both ctrl c ctrl f drag this to the bottom just like this and there you go you can see that the perspective actually works so ctrl c ctrl f drag this to the bottom i'm using the perspective selection tool for this so you can see that it is actually easier for me to design it this way uh, instead of designing the whole bunch just select all of these ctrl c ctrl f and drag it down to the bottom there you go you have the windows on this side of the plane all right so select all of them let's disable this out drag it to the top just like this okay there you go then let me just use my arrow keys over there so if i want uh, the perspective on this side ctrl c ctrl f drag it up out to this side and then select this all right so now if i want to uh, make something similar on this side as well so let me just select this side and then create uh, other shapes so you can create any shapes just like this ctrl c ctrl v and then ctrl c ctrl f uh drag the perspective selection tool drag it to the side just like this click select ctrl c ctrl f drag it to the bottom ctrl c ctrl f drag it over here ctrl c ctrl f drag it over here just like this and then select all of these just like this ctrl c ctrl f and drag it to the bottom just like this all right there you go so this is how you create a perspective grid so i can turn this off and you can see that you got a building right over there uh in the perspective view so i can control a uh, copy and paste this uh, these designs just like this i can copy and paste this to create multiple buildings and so forth ctrl c ctrl v uh ctrl c uh and then I want to group this out maybe so so i can uh, copy and paste the buildings a bit more easier all right so press ctrl z select all of this press uh just group them out all right just select all of these okay so these are all grouped but still it's not showing up so let's right click all right there you go so ctrl c ctrl v ctrl c all right there you go Control c Control v there you go i can create perspective buildings just like this so this is how you use the perspective tool inside of adobe illustrator hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like comment share and subscribe